What is good friends, back with more ulti laddering. I meant to record some of this the other days, but yeah, something came up so I couldn't record. But yeah, there's a pretty cool team that I saw Royster Report use on a ladder. And I don't know if I snatched it correct, but it's uh, around Specsurum. And yeah, I've used Specsurum Black a few days ago. And I really like regular Curum, so I wanted to try that out as well. And yeah, I haven't laddered since the last time I recorded, so I'm like only mid 1400s. So, what's my lead here? I want to lead with um, Landris. Like I kind of expected him to lead with his own Landris. That's why I didn't want to lead with my Heatran. And this is Scarf Lando. I don't want to take a potential uh, water move. I know some Feeny run water moves. So we're just going to U-turn out here. Um, I was actually working on a 1000 subscriber special two days ago, but we had some issues there. Um, I'm not sure how how I want to make do it yet. I want a multiple, um, like I'm laddering with friends in my 1000 subscriber special, I'm just gonna go tank here. And I'm not sure if I wanna, yeah, it just goes for surf. So we're gonna double out here or we can knock off. Um, I'm expecting the Cartana slash Volcarona. I have Rock Slide, which is pretty cool. I think I wanna go for Rock Slide. Yeah, this team is a bit weak to Volcarona, so I'm just gonna click Rock Slide. He's not, um, he's not, um, he doesn't make the mistake of going hard Volcarona, which is smart. Um, so this is probably Megalady. But what is Megalady gonna do to me? Ice Beam? I don't know, um, I'll go Scizor here and then I'll, I'll um, scout for HP Fire. He's Calm Mind, okay, that's a problem. Uh, so I have to U-turn here. I don't think he's HP Fire. If he's Calm Mind, he's probably Roost, uh, Store Power, and maybe T-Bolt, or Reflect type. But yeah, I'm not sure, like I said, uh, how I wanna do my 1000 subscriber special. Um, he can't burn me, shoutouts to um, Misty Terrain. Can't burn me with Flame Body. Because, like, um, I either... It's, it's gonna be like a super long video, like four hours or something like that. I might cut it in like two parts. And I did it with like, I did like one hour laddering with two friends and then another one hour laddering with two other friends. And I'm not sure, like, maybe I should just do it with more people and just do one live. Um, let me know how you wanna have that. Um, but yeah, I think I can just go into my Tapu Coco here and click U-turn. If I go Heatran, that doesn't really do much. He should be HP ground on his team. Yeah, I think I go Coco here, and I'm gonna HP ice here really badly on this Landorus. If I had Taunt, I would click it here because it prevents him from Kuva dancing up. And if he goes Lando, he can't go for rocks. But um, I think I'll HP ice here. He should switch out. I'm not that high on the ladder, so maybe I should make these plays. But like, like no one stays in there exactly. So we catch this Landorus. This is um, zero special attack invested. But it's still 2 hit KOs. Um, like it's um, minus special attack nature. Um, I assume he's probably Scarf Katana, but I still have to scout for uh, Scarf Landorus. Is he, is he like, um, gonna pivot out? If he pivots out, put it in the HP ice again. I don't even know what he would go to. Maybe to his Lari? Um, but I think I don't lose much. Um, from going to Scizor here, because if he goes for rocks, I can defog. If he goes for earthquake, I can eat it up. If he goes for U-turn, yes, he gets momentum. Um, I want to calc if that's uh, offensive land or damage. As he has this Volcarona bit. Okay, the Volcarona is a big threat. Um, maybe I should have gone landers because I wouldn't have let the Volcarona in. That might have been a better play. But yeah, I just want to calc real quick. 7.9% to Scizor. I, that's pr I'm pretty sure that has to be offensive. So I assume he's Scarf Lando. Because this is really bulky. I'm expecting a Quiver Dance here. And I don't know if I have counterplay. I might just lose to this. Uh, Volcarona is not that calm. It's like, I don't think this team is like really prepared for it. But yeah, we're gonna go Landris here. He Quiver Dances up. We're gonna now go Heat Trans um, on a fire move. And we're then... Oh, he's lefty, so he doesn't have Z move. So maybe he can't kill me. So I think I have to just stone it here. I thought he was Z-move, I wanted to scout for the Z-move and switch out, but like... If 
these lefties, I can just go for stonage here. Um, maybe he's uh, has fucked up EVs, but yeah, he's fast and he roasts me, so I should have made the play of going trend. But like this team doesn't have anything for Volcarona, like <laughs> that's why I have rocks. I don't tank, so he can't set up, but that didn't work out. So uh, my play is hoping that he doesn't have HP ground, I guess, which he will probably have. Yes, uh, I'll. Yup, HP ground. We live on one percent. Mm. Not much I can do. You can go cure him and hope for a fire blast miss, and drop a Draco, but yeah, it won't happen. This is a fat L. And we that lives, so I should have gone to cure him first. I didn't know that I eat that, but I needed um, prior damage on the Volk anyway for heat. Yeah, yeah. So that was fine. I mean, it isn't fine, my, my team is just completely weakened now. Mm. I didn't expect to play Volcarona because it's not common at all, but yeah, my play here is probably Hard Scissor. VCSD variant, I'm in huge trouble. Oh my god, why? I mean, it makes sense, but I was hoping that he wasn't. Maybe I should have roosted on the all-out pummeling? Yeah. Well, that's that's a dead scissor pretty much now. And Katana outspeeds everything other than Coco. Um, HPS doesn't even kill him. Like, I don't have a play here. It's a fat elf. But he does switch out on top of Fini. I don't know if he scouted for Z-move there, but... I will go for the... The Giga Volt Havoc here if he goes Landers. He got me good, and if not, we can... Hopefully kill his top of Fini. Yeah, like... <laughs> I don't know, I pretty much just lost to the... Kartana if he stayed in, but he probably thought that HP is killed. So now we're gonna U-turn out on his Megalati. That was a nice chip. And... I think I'll just lose to this. So he's gonna comment up here, right? Yeah, so I go scissor and bullet punch. I don't think he's gonna roost. I think he's gonna predict my U-turn and attack me. As he does just do that, so now he's in range from Coco. So we can still win this game, but this was like... <laughs> I, I could've played a bit better, but this team is just super weak to Volcarona. And now we go to... Tangrowth because we cannot let the the Kartana in for free. And if you go um, if you go Kyurem Kartana would have come out. So if this is the Autotom I said, I don't think it is, but we'll just knock off the leftovers from the uh, Sarastila. Mm. And now we're gonna go hard top of Coco, I think. As I need my Tangrowth to check to check his what's I'm call what you call it? To check his Cortana. So I'm gonna roost up. Kinda predicting the protect, kinda predicting the Landris. I don't know why you would ever protect there. Uh, it's a pretty bad play on his part, but we're now gonna HP eyes and try to catch his Landris on the switch. As I'm, I kinda had to bang on a choke there as he does make that play. So yeah, I, I should have lost this game, but this guy decided uh, winning is overrated and we should now be 1470? 1469 only, okay. So I'm gonna load this team again, but oof, hopefully no Volcarona. <laughs> As the last minute change I made, by the way, it was I put max HP on Heatron over max special attack, which came in clutch because otherwise Heatron would have died to HP ground. We got a roll, we lifted on 1%, that was really clutch. I'm gonna check this guy's rank. I'm gonna ignore opponent because I know some people like sometimes shit talk um, for no reason and that it irritates me. Um, like, I can't concentrate then. So, his rank is. Ah, it's okay. But yeah, Mega Manectric, some people would say that's an unmon. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad, but I would not really use it at the moment. So that's Rocks, Landris, Scarf, Lari, I would assume, and then it's either Zimuth Blue or and AV Majorna or like. Oh, yeah, probably Zimuth Gyarados if he has Mega Manectric. But yeah, overall, I just want to leave with my own Lando again, probably. Yeah, 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 just my own Lando again. Mm, he 
does leave a type of blue, he does not know if I'm sky struck, so he should scout for that, but we are low ladder, so they, he probably won't scout, yeah, exactly, I don't get why people never scout, but what I can do here is, I just got my Sidov, and you turn again, he does lead sheet, and we just get the mega off, so we are more, so we are a bit more bulky, and we get momentum, and if he's Rocky Hammond, it's gonna be annoying, but it's worth it to get the mega off, and the extra bulk, and to get momentum, so we do find out his helmet, um, I don't know why people still think uh, helmet land was like the way to go and this part on the ladder, I really like leftovers way better I mean he has Bulu to check Zygarde but like no, I like leftovers land a lot at the moment Um, so this is probably defensive for Lando which means I can go to my Kyurem here uh, if he Scarf rocks that's gonna be annoying but yeah I wanna off power here because it it hits the Mijuna and he should go to Mijuna if he stays in the scarf, I look like a fool. Unless he, if you turns into Majuna, I'm fine. Um, like Ice Beam is really obvious here, so yeah, exactly. We do predict that correct, and we see that that's um, 61. So I just want to call if that's uh, assault vest. I don't think it's assault vest at all because they did so much. Um, Kieran, Kieran, you you trust backs versus um, Majuna. Mm, yeah, assault vest would have done 56, 61. Hmm. Not really sure, but yeah, he's gonna switch out here into um, Ladi, Orlando, or Gyarados, or like he could go Bull too, but I don't think he will. Mm -mm -mm. I think Tapu Coco covers all almost all options, so we're gonna go Tapu Coco here. If he stays in, as a good play, predicting me to switch. If he does, uh, just go Gyarados. So I look like an Overlord here, and if I had Taunty, I would click it again. Um, like it's really nice in this scenario if I had it. But I think we can just click HP Ice because he's probably gonna go Landorus. As he does go Manectric. Oh, I didn't even think about that he has a Manectric. So I should have just clicked U turn. That was kind of a misplay on my part. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna U turn here. Let this take a hit. I forgot about Manectric. But yeah, he just volts, which does a fuckload. So if he goes Lando here, I take helmet damage and my Coco is weakened, which sucks. Yeah, I should have just U turned on the Gera. But he does go to Bulu. And this gives me my, this gives me my scissor again. I can also go Heatran, but the problem with Heatran is I have to hit a Magma Storm. Uh, let me just calculate real quick. I have no like special attack on my Heatran, so I don't know. I have like eight. I don't know if that would Oko the uh, the Bulu. Oh, the Oko is okay. okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make the... Nah, I'm just gonna play it safe. I don't wanna rely on him... <laughs> I don't wanna rely on him missing. Like, uh, on him... Like, I don't wanna rely on a move like Magma Storm this early. So we're just gonna U-turn again. If he goes Landorus, yes, it's annoying. But yeah, if he stays in, that's a bad play on his part. Um, I don't know why he did that. But what I can do here is... Um, go to my Curum, basically, and click Ice Beam. And if he goes mid Jenna, he might take two with aggressive terrain. We shall see. But if he goes to something else like Gyarados, it gets blown out the window. Mm. And we can just click it again. Um, if he's Mega for... No, he can't be Mega. He's already Mega. He managed to... Yeah, okay. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so we get rid of Gyarados. Q, I'm already getting a kill. Amazing. That's what I like to see. As this cannot kill me. I assume he's gonna volt out into mid here. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna Ice Beam again, like, <laughs> what are you doing to me, my guy? <laughs> that, what is, oh baby, we've, you messed up, oh, you just forfeited, and we should be in, okay, we're 1488. Mm, yeah, I have like two more teams that I like to, you, I don't know if I talked about it yet, I think I did. Yes, we got another old T guy, so, time to concentrate. I have the team that Kanto used to qualify last cycle. And that's a pretty decent team, but it's like super offensive. Um, might use that in the next episode. Okay, so this guy is um, decent ranking. He has like more points than me, so that would give some juicy points if I win this. But yeah, this is like disgusting fat balance, however you want to call it. Like, I don't want to say semi stall. It's like balance, yeah. As you move Lando or as you move Gengar? Mm. Uh, Kyurem seems like a cool lead here, so I'm gonna leave with Kyurem, um, just to get pressure on him early game, but he leaves Gengar, 
So now I wish that I had with Landris. I don't know if I live a focus blast, I probably don't, but I just want to calc for like future reference or however you say that my is kinda of bad sometimes. Like if the scenario comes up again, I wanna know if this kills. Um Gengar okay if he's specs focus blast obviously kills. But if he's not specs it doesn't. But yeah, I don't know that. Mm, so I'm gonna go Landris here. And he does go packs. So if I clicked Earth Powder, he would have looked like a fool. Not sure what he predicted there, but I'm kinda of forced to Earthquake here. As he gets me there. But I couldn't really afford the U-turn there because um Pex just lifts every one hit and stays in and goes for T-Spikes. So yeah, now I have a scissor on the back, so I'm really tempted to Earthquake again. Like, I have a scissor, un unless he has HP5, he doesn't have anything to do, so I'm gonna Earthquake again, but he goes to land. He makes the good mid-ground play, I'm really smart of him. So now I'm gonna go scissor anyway, so I don't know why he went land, I wouldn't have covered my sis. Unless he's Sky Strike, but yeah, now I'm gonna Defog. Mm, kinda lost momentum there. Um, yeah, Kyurem is nice in this match if I predict correct, but it's gonna be tough. Um, so that did 30, that did nothing. Let me call it Landris. Oh, you flying him? Who is this? Uh, Cesar. Uh, custom set. So that should do more, so he's defensive. Um, so I'm gonna just roost you then. Yeah, he just gets him back up. Completely fine. He goes pegs, and now he's gonna get a teeth bug, I guess. We're gonna U turn here in a cure him. Mm, I don't wanna go hard Coco in case he skull burns me. Um, so now I'm forced to off power here, which means. Um, I think he's gonna stay in because he can eat it up, yeah. And pegs having me generate is so disgusting. Now he's gonna switch to Tangros. Slash Landorus. Mm. So I'm gonna go scissor here. This is really bad. If he predicts my double here, I'm put behind already. I playing fat teams like his. I definitely have some ways of breaking it. Um, so I'm gonna just defog here, right? But this is bad, like eventually he will get up his hazards. Tifo has less PP than rocks and he also has T spikes. I don't have a T spike absorber. His packs didn't have um It did have black sludge, which is a bad item. You always have to run um Shed Shell. So I'ma try to knock off his packs later then with my tank. Mm, I might allow to let my tank get poisoned with one layer. I eventually will have to allow that to happen. So he goes back to this. And we get a juicy crit. Um, tempted to go hard into Tapu Koko this time because I think he's gonna... Oh, he scalds again. So I was lucky that he didn't get the burn. I just skipped turn because in case he went for that, I didn't want to... Um, and now I forced to U-turn here. And he's gonna go Tangros. I didn't want to um, see the skull animation and get a heart attack if he burned me. I just want to skip turn and know what's going on. So how much does Tangos take from my Ice Beam? Uh, Kyurem. Uh, this this game is gonna be annoying. I don't know if I can win. Tangos Assault Vest. Ice Beam kills. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So, but this means I can go to Kyurem and click... Elf Power, I think? I can also click HP Fire. Um, wait, how much does uh, Heatran do? I don't think he don't kills because I have no special attack investment. It's like eight. Yeah, Magma Storm does five. Oh. So I think I'm just gonna go cure me and click off power. I want HP fire break and the sis, but his play, his play should be um, going Toxapex on the ice beam, right? Yeah, exactly. So I have to like fish for the death drop crits. We don't get it. Um, I have to catch him on his stain eventually, but I don't think he's gonna stay in this turn. Hmm. He has a lot of options here. Lando and Tangos are like the main options. Let's 
Sommergusssaison. Hmm. Goes Tangles, this time I'm just gonna U-turn. As yeah, the regenerator core of his is so annoying, it's just uh He's not helmet, so probably he's lefties, I guess. Back to Curum we go, and I think I can click. I want to HP fire because I've clicked off power all the time. I want to catch a scissor with a HP fire. That would be lovely. But if he stays in and like, that would be so annoying. I lose all momentum as he goes packs. Um, I don't like his play. I don't like his play there. But I guess he was out of range from off power. Um, I should just off power again then. So this puts me in a really bad spot now. Um, I don't know what to do. Gonna attempt to go tank and knock him off as he goes uh, scissor. As we're now gonna predict a U turn here. And we're gonna go for knock off. Let's just do that, that is a fuckload. Maybe I should run some more defense on my tanks. But yeah, I pretty much predicted this U turn and now he doesn't have good knock off switch ins. If he goes packs, at least he uses his black sludge, which is gonna be nice because his packs is so annoying to kill. And he goes Gengar, so now we find out if he's Z move. And he was Choice Garf Gengar, wow. So, what's his Z move user then? Is it defensive Z move Lando? I didn't pay attention if he got lefties with his Landros earlier. Um, I didn't get lefties. Is he, is he defensive Z move? Unset. Um, but yes, Scissor was Scarf Gengar for days. So, we're gonna go Scissor here. And oh my lord, we looked like the over god. And now we're gonna click U turn here because I assume he's gonna go Pex. I mean, he could stay in, but what can he do to me? Unless he has Will O Wisp or HP Fire. Oh my god, he has Destiny Bond! No! I got destroyed by Unset. Fuck. So, <laughs> what I have to do now is go into Tapu Koko. Um, I'm, I'm in a really bad spot now. I didn't even think about that. Scarf D Bone, wow. I'm gonna fire off a Z move here, I think that's the option, a good option because Scissor is annoying. I want it weakened. I get a crit, I don't feel bad about that. He's using a fat team. Um so now we can U-turn here. I lost my scissor, which was my main answer to this. Um now he can knock off. He can knock off here for sure. So that's gonna be annoying because I don't wanna lose I don't wanna lose my Kirim specs. But I don't really need my Lando Scarf anymore, so I'm gonna go Lando here as he h passes. Don't really like that play on his part, but it worked out, so what can I say? It's gonna now U-turn again. Clef kind of was my entire team. And so we're gonna go back to Coco. Predicting a knockoff here, but if you off with predicting Tren. It's gonna be bad. He just Giga Drains. So we're gonna Roost. And this is tough. He goes Hard Landorus. Um, he doesn't die to HPIs from this range. But I'm gonna predict him to go for Rocks and I'm gonna go for HPIs. But he switches out, okay. So he scouts for HPIs, which is smart. I should have just U turned, but I didn't want him getting Rock. I didn't want to have him get up Rocks. But if this is his Rocket, which it definitely could be. Then he, get, he gets them up anyway, so yeah, I think I'll lose this game. Mm. Call my Clef just fucks me up now. But we have Taunt on the trend, so if he's Command, I have to go to this. And... I don't know his set, but I'm gonna Taunt. And I'm gonna get up Rocks here. Definitely need Rocks to pressure him a bit. He goes Landorus. I think he's just gonna get up his own rocks, but I cannot risk. <laughs> Do I need my hit? Yeah, my hit is so important this game. I'm gonna go hard Kyurem as I can eat up a hit. He goes hard forever and he crits me, which sucks. I'm gonna now go for Earth Power. And I'm gonna off power again because um, just of the way that I have been playing, I assume he's gonna stay in eventually. 
Um, he shouldn't, but I just have to like catch him, and I catch him amazing. Whew. I just have a like, I just have a feeling for when they will stay in eventually. But yeah, that crit sucks. My Kyurem's in range of rocks, so he can just go for Roxy, and then my Kyurem is dead. So that that's why that crit sucked. I'm gonna go Changros here. Yeah, that that's really unfortunate because Ice Beam could have gotten another kill. So I'm he's gonna U-turn here. I'm gonna knock off. Oh, he's Z move. Oh, forgot about that. It's defensive Sky Strike. It's an onset. But yeah, I figured he would be Z move. I don't know why I didn't do anything about it. Yeah, like I don't even know what my play is now. I kind of just lose. That sucks. I'm gonna have to HBIC here. I'm uh, gonna U turn, gonna sack off my Kyurem. Um, yeah, really unfortunate. Usually, I um, otherwise, I would have sacked off my Lando here if he didn't crit my Kyurem, and then my Kyurem would have gotten another kill. But, you know. I mean, I also crit his Cesar, I guess. So. I wanna go Coco here and click HP Ice. Really, really badly. So, I'm gonna do that. Because I wanna catch his Landorus on the switch. Um, I kinda wanna. If he goes Clef here, that sucks. I kinda wanna Wild Charge Break and Clef. But I thought, yeah, okay, my bad. I thought that he would go to, um, okay, we're gonna wild charge here. I thought he would go to Landris. Now he goes Landris, so I'm getting outplayed like shit. Um, now we're gonna U-turn as he scouts for HPS again or something. This region core is really annoying, but I think we can win. Uh, we're gonna know go, we're gonna know, <laughs> I'm gonna go to my uh, heat turn here and click Magma Storm. I think it's just time, I uh, have to risk it sooner or later. And if I miss this, I'm gonna be super pissed and <laughs> lose a lot of points. Hopefully, I connect this as we do miss. Come the fuck on. Gonna make my storm again as I already showed taunt, so he might predict taunt and pivot out. And so that we get a crit. Just, just moonblast. So now we're forced to taunt. We try to softball. I only have a few magma PP, which sucks, and we miss. Come the fuck on. Magma Storm here. Magma Storm here again. Hopefully we can connect and kill the Clef as we can. Nice. Um, so no, my Coco... My, I think my Coco wins now, kinda. I don't need my own Landris, so I'm gonna go to my own Landris here. I'm willing to sack it off. Uh, I'm gonna knock off his Assault Vest. Which helps me with okay if he goes Lando that's the chip damage that I need um, I, I mean not really that doesn't really matter but yeah my Lando's in range from rocks pretty much what I can do is just go to my Coco and click HPIs and I think we win this game yeah, this was uh, this was a painful game I just HPIs he dies to rocks so there's no point for him in switching as. He can off quick here on my trend, so that's why I don't wanna. Huh. If he off quicks on my trend, I think I lose, so I have to HPI. I have to hit a Magma Storm still. Damn, if I miss this, I still lose. So this comes down to. If I can hit. I think I'll live a trend anyway from full. I live uh, EQ from full, so he would have to hit. He would have to mi hit dodge two Magma Storms. So we are 15 13 now, and we're gonna get one more. And that was a fucking. <laughs> that was a scary game. But I knew he would stay in eventually with his Toxic Packs, and I just had to catch him on that turn. And then I was in a decent position. I got a crit on a scissor, but he also got some hex, so I think it was kinda even. And yeah, this should be the last game slash. Hide room. And check this guy's rank. So he has a Mammoth Swine. Um, we're still in the range of the ladder where we get these weird teams. My most one is like really scary to switch into. But I think Scissor leads up. Scissor leads well as everything other than like. Sundress. I'm just gonna lead Scissor. If he leads Sandy, he got me good. At least Mammoth one is expected. Um, so if he Sash, he might stay in here. But I really want a U turn here, expecting a switch. Um. He sh like, if he's actually can just stay in, that's the thing. What do I lose from bullet punching? 
I don't lose that much by bullet punching. So I'm just gonna bullet punch. It's turn one. I don't know how these players work. No, no, actually I stand by my U-turn play. Like, I don't know. Like his team is HO, but he has a defog, so I don't know if this would be Sash Rock's lead. This is his only potential rocker, so it should be Sash, which really makes me want to bullet punch. I don't I can't decide. <laughs> it's like a coin flip decision for me, I don't really know. So yeah, I think I made the correct decision as he stays in. So now I can just defog as this yeah, this was his only potential rocker, so I made the correct decision <laughs> by cancelling a few times. Um, Kyurem is okay this game, I have to win Feeny first, so this guy, he goes to Zen which makes me think that he has HP fire, or counter, he's either Sash lead with, uh, like, no, not lead, but like Sash with counter, so I'm expecting either HP fire or counter here which makes me want to go Landris. Um, he goes for counter so I predict that immaculately, um, I should have gone to something else that's not physical. How much HP does Alakazam have? Well, let me data counter. It turns double the damage, and Alakazam has how many HP? Mm. I think it would kill my Tangro, so I'm not gonna stay in here. Dude, how do I play around this thing? I think I go hard Tangros. <laughs> As he goes for Psychic, and now... I can just go for Giga Drain here. I just don't want to go for a physical move and have him go for a counter, even though I'm kind of expecting him to go into his Scullypede here. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose the Sash. Um, I should double break in the Scullypede, yeah. So I'm gonna go land with kind of expecting the Scullypede here. But these low ladder people, I don't know how to predict them, <laughs> like honestly. Like he might stay in here for no reason, but yeah, we do catch the Scully Pete. We get a nice Intimidate off. I don't know if he's Sash on this too, but I think I'm just gonna U-turn here as a mid ground. No, Stonehenge seems fine. Stonehenge is fine here and we miss. Calm the fuck on, dude, I was in such a good position. See, like, everything would have been fine, but this guy decided to lo to lock me. Fuck. I'm gonna expect him to go for, um, the Water Z move here, but he, go he just goes for Aqua Tail. I'm gonna go back to land on the Mega Horn, but this is just awful. Like, he can SD again. Like, I just fucking... Uh, actually, I'm gonna go Scissor here. I'm in a really bad position now, because this guy decided to lock me. I hate this game. <laughs> I probably sound like a five-year-old crying baby, I don't care. Like, this is not fun. Like, these guys with their weird teams and then they... I basically made the correct decision, but... It doesn't matter if you make the correct decision, because, yeah, why not... Reward the player, um, why not just dodge, um, yeah, I don't know, that... <laughs> and he crits me, so, like, my crit... I don't know. I guess my crit also mattered a bit. His crit is a bit annoying, but yeah, I'm gonna um, pull a punch again here. If he switches to Sunrise, that's fine. This thing is too annoying for me to not go for bullet punch here. Um, but yeah, he does switch, which uh, was kind of obvious, but whatever, it's fine. And I wasn't gonna risk anything, like I said. So um, I can see him going for HP Ice, uh, pretty malandrous. Um. I think Kyurem is a good mid ground play, as it. It resists Steebold and it can eat up HP Ice. If he goes for um, Focus Blast, this guy's on another level. But yeah, um, it doesn't resist HP Ice, but it can eat it up. So now, I can go for Ice Beam and just weaken his Tapu Fini a bit. And if he goes for Hard Lop on for some reason, yeah, low ladder players. We get a Freeze. I'm, I don't feel bad, but I'm still not gonna risk him waking up. I'm just gonna go Hard Landers here. As it gives me overall, if he switches out speed control, like I have a fast amount. Um, if he stays in here, I can U turn. I won't be locked into Earthquake when he has have Thunderous. Um, yeah, remember when his Scully Pete got Stone Edge, but he dodged? Yeah. But it's fine. So now we U turn on the Thunderous. We go back to Kyurem, we click Ice Beam. Uh, 
if he has focus blast, maybe I should scout for that. Yeah, I should scout for focus blast. So he either sacks the Lopani or he sacks the Tabufini. Uh, oh, he goes to Tabufini. Like he sacks Lop, he goes Fini, or he stays and goes for focus blast. And I think Tangrowth covers all three options. So we're gonna go to Tangrowth here. But it's really hard to make a play that covers all options with his low ladder, I feel. Um, I'm lagging a bit. Mm. He stayed into Volt Switch, come the f- <laughs> Should've just Ice Beamed. I mean, it was a fine play, but I didn't think he would have that. I think he's Scarf. Man, so I was thinking about going Landers as well, but in case he HP Iced. I don't know if he's HP or HP Flying, I think he's HP Iced. But yeah, that's a way to lose momentum, but I don't know why he would go to his Frozen Lob honey, when he had other options. Like, such like, he could have gone Mammoth somewhere in there, but I, we take those. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I want to make these videos longer, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure my Tangos can eat a hit. I hopefully can connect my Rock Slide here as we dodge a Megahorn. I don't feel bad. <laughs> and we miss it anyways. Um... Okay, so now we're gonna switch out. It's I think I could have lived Megahorn, but like... He misses again. Um... We could just, we're just gonna go for Stone Edge. I think he's gonna go Feeny here, but he goes Thunderous and he doesn't dodge this time, thankfully. Because if he was Scarf, I was forced out again if he dodged. But yeah, now he's gonna go... Back to Scully B. What? What is this guy doing? Yeah, okay, I don't feel bad if I like, hexed him. Like, this guy doesn't... Like, this is the part on the ladder where I don't know what the fuck is going on. So this game doesn't count, I'm gonna get another one. Hopefully I don't... Hopefully this is not the part where we get smashed. Now, as we do get like psychic spam, which is definitely annoying to play, uh, really annoying to play. I'm gonna lead off with Landowners here. Um, leads Coco. Um, I want to knock off his Celeste dealer, but I can also U turn here to get early momentum. Scarf Coco is not a set. Oh, he stays in. I should have just off quick then. Ah. Oh. I should have checked his rank before I clicked anything. That was my fault. So I assume he's gonna HPI slash U turn here. I probably just U turn thinking that I wasn't Scarf Lando. Yeah, I should have checked his rank and seen that he has a dog shit win loss ratio. And I could have just played it safe turn one. Um, my apologies, guys. <laughs> so we're just gonna go Tangles. We gave him momentum. No, he goes for HPI. It's okay, okay, that's cool. So now I can just go for knockoff here because he doesn't have good knockoff switch ins at all. Intimidate helps me a bit to eat that U turn up. Um, this guy still has 90 seconds left. Um, so this guy just forfeited. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> so we're gonna get another one. Why did he forfeit so early? I guess he realized he didn't have a knockoff switch. So this guy's called ulti is not fun. Before we do anything, we're gonna check his win loss ratio. Um, so he has this uh, webs team, but he has like a variation of it, so it's not the standard thing, the standard webs team. And he has 22 and 2, so he's, okay, he's good. Um, but yeah, shock lead, pretty obvious. I don't have taunt on my Coco. They run the thing anyway. Um, I'm just gonna lead with Sis. I'm a bit weak to mana V. At least with Gengar, we're gonna U turn turn 1. I assume this is Scarf Gengar or. This looks like a team Mogwai made in Auras. But he put like a pincer on. I don't know why Bishop was the play. Get an early lucky crit. Uh, we can got no go to Tapu Koko here. Or we can go to Heatran or Cure. Curum sounds crispy here. Specs Ice Beam should do 40%. Um. Kyurem, Choice Specs versus uh, Bisharp. And he should not go for Sucker Punch because I could be a substitute Kyurem. My Ice Beam here. Um, it only lets Manaphy and I have check in Tangros. And like I don't need my Tangros for that much. He goes Hard Landers, takes it off. Uh, okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on. These people are just donating left and right. He was Sash Landers. But we are fast as I was Sash Rocks lead. He doesn't get rocks this game. Oh wait, what? I thought he was rocks this. Never mind, I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. People are just donating today, that's nice. 
1544, not getting many points obviously because the guy was low. Mm. Yeah, if I really wanna go for it, I have to make like a deeper grind, but I don't really feel it. Like, I think it ends in like 3 or 4 days, I think it ends in 4 days. I'm just gonna ice him as it should like 3 to KO him. I could also go Scizor, but these run Encore anyway, and then he Encores me in a Defog. As that almost tricky, oh, wow. So he's rocks on this, so I don't know what the land was. Maybe it was SD Explosion. He got it cleared, uh, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry, my guy. So he doesn't get up webs, but I could have. Mm, I could have gotten uh, some opportunities to defog later. And my Scarf Lando is in the air, so it doesn't get affected by webs. The the only thing that webs matter is that. Uh, it, matters for, it matters a lot in some sen sense, because. My Coco um, would have gotten outsped, but Pinsir could have gotten EQ'd. But yeah, he's not gonna go Manaphy and... Um, Manaphy's a big problem. If he's a Z Renance, I might just lose to this. We go for Giga Drain. I don't think he can Oko me, and I should be able to tweet KO him, so unless he has like... Yeah, I don't think he can Oko me, and hopefully no crit off reason, I'm fine. Like, I know I hexed him a bit, but like... The webs didn't matter in the sentence for my Tangros. The webs only. He's rest. Uh, that doesn't matter because the rain is gonna end in a few turns, and I can also I can also get a crit. So he's playing with fire, and he sees that he can beat me. And yeah, this game should be over. I thank you guys for watching. This should be um this is the last game. Like um okay, let's not talk too soon. <laughs> What I'm gonna do here is I don't wanna go hard Coco because Coco just wins the game. I'm gonna go hard scissor and um he substitute pincer, so we're gonna bullet punch to break it. Maybe sub subfly, that set is kinda cool. But yeah, we're gonna check out the ladder at the end of the episode as he goes for that. What I'm gonna do here is you turn out. Do I U-turn out here? No, I don't U-turn out because if he subs, I'm in a bad position. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If I U-turn that, you gotta sub up. That's not what I want. So now we're gonna go Coco, revenge him as he flail. And I'm just gonna click HPIs here. Wait, does HPIs kill? I don't want him to fuck up. Tapu Coco. Um, zero. Uh, Jolly. Where is Pins here? Wait, HP fire? Oh, it's life orb, what the fuck? No, not icicle blade. Yeah, yeah, HP, HP doesn't kill, I don't know what's going on, but he just forfeited. So we're 15-16 now, um, we, I think we went undefeated this life. Um, there were definitely one or two damage that I should've lost. So we had sent, I'm 27-2 now, which is cool. Uh, but I'm way too low, obviously, to qualify at the moment. Uh, let me see where my man Padlob is at the moment. LT43. So we got, I think it's beautiful at number one, we got Bleach, whoever that is, Alexander, Solvent, Suchtress, Kappa, um, P2 and Sable Mabay at the top 8 at the moment. No, the, the top 7, top 8, Farin is on it there. And I just want to see where my man Padlob is, my man Padlob, where are you at? Uh, Padlob, he's number 78, 1907 and his second account is 1846. And the cycle ends in, I can check real quick for you guys. Let me pause it. The cycle ends on um, Thursday, August 24th at 9 GMT plus zero. So we have like four days to go. I'm not really sure if this is nine in the evening or morning. I'm really bad with time zones sometimes. But thank you guys for watching. Um, Leave a comment how you want the subscriber special to be. I kind of messed up at the beginning my my video, talking about the subscriber special. Like, do you want like um me laddering with like one or two friends for like each like thirty hour thirty minutes to one hour, or do you want it to be like the the entire gang, which would be like six, seven, eight people? But I feel like that's too wild, especially because sometimes we have like people that sabotage and click random buttons that make us lose a game. So I think three people max. Three to four people max is what I would have in call, and I would probably make two or three parts. Yeah, just let me know. Um, also, if I should upload, I have one that I made. It's two hours long. It's around two hours long. Um, that was not the best. We are using some weird 
um, really weird sets and catch we caught some fat elves but I, i'm not like i don't mind uploading elves so just let me know if you want to see that because like it's like really long and like i feel kind of feels kind of like wasted time if i don't upload it because i had fun in call with my friends even though some games were like eh. but yeah this team is cool i'll leave it in the description if you want to use it yourself and i also snatched oh got passed by my friends um, yeah, I got this team here from CTC from the forums, but I got this team made by Kanto and Y4, which is pretty cool. Kanto qualified with this. I might use this in the next episode. I also got this team that Blunder used for a few games. Where is it? Where is it? This this one with Life of Tapu Bulu. I might use this as well. But it's kind of like Pax, Lando, Stila, Trend, Bulu, and I have used teams like this before. So, but the, the thing is, Sub Life of Bulu is pretty pretty cool. I haven't used that, so I might try that out so have a fantastic gay uh d <laughs> did i say gay i meant day <laughs> holy shit that was embarrassing um thank you for watching and let me know if you're trying out for ulti um or if you like if it's just too stressful for you mm, and yeah you can join my discord if you like want to build teams with me or my friends or just exchange ideas talk about the matter talk about different stuff we have like a really chill discord um my discord is dogwitch hashtag 5813 and i will um add you if you pm me if you want to join and have a fantastic day guys, I'm out. And yeah, it was fun actually, I expected to lose at least two of the games that we had, but we pulled, somehow we pulled through, I don't know, it's either because they choked or because, oh my god, no, it's probably because it was lower ladder. And I don't know, I also played decent, uh, there were like one or two games that I feel I could have played a bit better, but this was the first time where I used this team, I feel like Taunt and Coco is definitely an option over HPI, so if you guys uh, want to have an even better matchup versus like Taunt, Taunt, Roost, Z, Wild Church, Coco, but you so good versus Stall, and yeah. That's it, and I'm out. Have a nice day.